everyone! Let me tell you, improving your English can be a really fun, creative and an absolutely simple process. Some of you watch online videos like you are doing right now and that's a really good thing. Some of you may watch movies, read books or the newspaper and that's a really good thing too. But let me tell you of a rather different approach to ensure that you improve your listening and speaking skills. Well, let me give you a hint. No, it's not another online course. Well, let me say it this way. It is something that is small and very clever. Uh, or rather, it is someone who is small, clever and absolutely awesome. Well, I'm talking about children, little kids. You must talk to little kids to improve your English. Believe me, they are awesome people. Hi! How are you? Well, we've got a kid already here. Give me a five. Thank you so much for coming. What's your name? My name's Nanya. You know what I did today? I went to the beach. It's vacation time for me. That is so cool. How was it? It was awesome. I made sand castles, I played with the waves, and I got my dad tired. You got your dad tired. How did you manage to do that? Well, I made him run a race with me, and he lost. <laughs> he lost? You made your dad lose. Well, that sounds like fun and a little naughty of you. And I went for a long nice swim in my new bathing suit. Good for you. Kids are great conversation starters. They can strike a conversation about anything. Ananya talked about her visit to the beach. She talks about words like vacation. Vacation means holiday. She builds sand castles, which are castle-shaped structures made from sand. She wears a bathing suit, which is swimming wear. And she plays with the waves, which are a surf-like thing that moves back and fro on the beach. And now that your vacation is going to get over, what then? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to make a vlog for my dog. A vlog for your dog? What is that? Those are recordings of the fun times we've had together. I'm going to post it all over the net. Well, I don't have a blog. I think I need to have a blog of my own. Well, what's your dog called? My dog's called Muku. And trust me, he's so adorable. Well, he sure sounds cute. Even though my vacations are over, I'm going to stay in touch with my grandma. How are you going to do that? Well, we Skype each other regularly. You must be pretty close to her. Yeah, we get along pretty well. That's very nice. Oh, now my school is starting and I have to hit the books as well. Children talk in up-to-date English. That's because they are learning new things every day. They are aware about new slang words that even books do not mention. Ananya talks about making a blog. A blog is a web page you create to record anything you want and publish it for everyone to see. Adorable means cute or very lovable. She was referring to her dog when she said adorable. FaceTime or Skype is another word used to have video chats with people who are away from you. She also uses phrases like stay in touch, which means keep contact with someone, getting along, which means being on good terms or feeling comfortable with someone. And then she talks about hitting the books. Hit the books means going back to studies. 
So, what do you do? Well, I teach, I train people to learn English. So, you just talk in English and listen to people talking in English. That's it. You pretty much catch up. You're right. Talking and listening to people talk in English is the right way to do it. Well, I never get to talk with kids your age. Are kids so easy to speak with? Well, some of us, but some are really shy. Hmm. Well, do you like talking to adults? Yeah, it's nice, but I don't like it when adults baby talk. I mean, they say, Oh, what are you doing? Hi, how are you doing, cutie? I'm not a baby. Hmm. So I understand. You don't like people talking to you like a baby. You'd rather have them speak to you like they would speak to an adult, right? That's right. And I don't like people bossing me around, like telling me what to do. Hmm, I see. Kids always ask questions because they are curious by nature. Yes, they can get you talking in no time. Try talking to them and you will see. That's how you can also improve your speaking skills. Ananya talks about baby talk. Baby talk is talking to someone as if they are babies or mimicking the way a baby would actually speak. She also talks about bossing one around. Bossing one around is being bossy or telling them what to do. Also remember that not all kids like us to talk with them. Some kids are naturally very shy. Only talk to kids if they want to talk to you. In that case, children will not feel that you are forcing yourself on them. So have conversations with children, but make sure they enjoy doing it as well. It's great talking to you. And you. Well, I've got a nice little treat for you. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Thank you. Well, since we're almost done, I want you to say bye to our viewers and tell them how important improving English really is. Learning English is important, yet the easiest thing to do. Don't ever give up. My name's Ananya. You know what I did today? I went to the beach. It's vacation time for me. That is so cool. How was it? It was awesome. I made sand castles, I played with the waves, and I got my dad tired. You got your dad tired. How did you manage to do that? Well, I made him run a race with me and he lost. <laughs> he lost? You made your dad lose. Well, that sounds like fun and a little naughty of you. And I went for a long night nice swim in my new bathing suit. Good for you. And now that your vacation is going to get over, what then? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to make a vlog for my dog. A vlog for your dog? What is that? Those are recordings of the fun times we've had together. I'm going to post it all over the net. Well, I don't have a blog. I think I need to have a blog of my own. Well, what's your dog called? My dog's called Muku. And trust me, he's so adorable. Well, he sure sounds cute. Even though my vacations are over, I'm going to stay in touch with my grandma. How are you going to do that? Well, we Skype each other regularly. You must be pretty close to her. Yeah, we get along pretty well. That's very nice. Oh, now my school is starting and I have to hit the books as well. So, what do you do? Well, I teach, I train people to learn English. So, you just talk in English and listen to people talking in English. That's it. You pretty much catch up. You're right. Talking and listening to people talk in English is the right way to do it. Well, I never get to talk with kids your age. Are kids so easy to speak with? Well, some of us, but some are really shy. Hmm. Well, do you like talking to adults? 
Yeah, it's nice, but I don't like it when adults baby talk. I mean, they say, Oh, what are you doing? Hi, how are you doing, cutie? I'm not a baby. Hmm, so I understand. You don't like people talking to you like a baby. You'd rather have them speak to you like they would speak to an adult, right? That's right. And I don't like people bossing me around, like telling me what to do. It's great talking to you. And you. Well, I've got a nice little treat for you. I'm sure you're going to like it. Thank you. Well, since we're almost done, I want you to say bye to our viewers and tell them how important improving English really is. Learning English is important, yet the easiest thing to do. Don't ever give up. 